If you've been on eight second round interviews and not moved forward like Amanda here, then I can tell you the one thing that's happening, which is you are not being seen as the must have candidate. In this market, and it's very different than just a couple of years ago, like during the great quit, companies would do like one interview and hire people because they were afraid they'd lose you. Totally different market right now. They have their pick of candidates and they're interviewing a lot more people. So at the second round interview, if you don't move forward, it's because you seemed nice to have, you, you met all the criteria, they, the recruiter liked you in the first round, you went to the hiring manager in the second round, you seemed nice enough, but you didn't come across like you were the aspirin. I'm gonna talk about this so much more on this channel because people really need this to sink in. You cannot be the vitamin in this job market. You can't be the nice to have. You need to be the pain reliever, the problem solver. You need to be the aspirin. And so when you're not moving forward, you have not convinced that hiring manager that you will be the aspirin. So one of the things that we're teaching people to do right now in job interviews is really agitate the pain and flush out the problem as a way to set up that you are the solution. If you think about it, you have to be the person that can say, I'm gonna take this off your plate, I'm gonna make the work easier. And the way you do that is you look at the job description. So with my clients, for example, if there's a job they're, they're interviewing for, we'll look at the job description, we'll write out all of the different aspects of the job requirements, and then we'll say, okay, what goes wrong? What breaks? What's the bad stuff that happens if this task or requirement isn't done correctly? Because you know the answer to that because you know how to do the job. So that's where you list out all those pain points so that you can agitate them. Then in a third column, I have my clients put what experience of yours, what skills of yours is going to solve for this problem and alleviate that pain. So all the tasks you have to do for the job, what happens if they're not done correctly, pain, problem, experience that you have that solves that. This prepares you to go in and discuss this in the interviews so that you now aren't just talking about your features, you're talking about your benefits. So again, a marketing concept we need to know. People buy based on emotion. Hiring managers are buyers of your service. You're a business of one selling your service to the customer, the employer. They want to feel like you are going to solve their problem and alleviate their pain. They want to feel the benefits of hiring you. But so many people go into job interviews, especially that second round, and they just talk about their features, their experience. They don't translate that into the benefits, the pain relief. That's what this exercise and some other things that we teach you in Work It Daily will do to prepare you for an interview. And let me just say, if there's one place right now as a job seeker, I would encourage you to invest time and energy in learning and closing your gaps of knowledge. It is in interview prep. You are going to get the biggest return on your investment in the form of moving forward in the interviews and getting the job offer and sitting in a place to negotiate for more money when you crush the job interviews. So there are changes that need to be made to the way people are presenting themselves so that they are seen as the aspirin, that they are conveying their benefits more accurately. And that is, I'm telling you, time on your time on your side really well spent, okay? But if this is happening to you repeatedly, again, it's not that you're a bad candidate, you're a nice to have. I need you to become a must have. If this made sense to you and it was helpful, there's two free ways you can help me back. Follow me here and then post a question so that I can keep answering them for you. And let me help you with a ton of free resources. The little circle with my head in it here, click on that, there's a link. And if you go there, all of my free resources to get you going immediately to help solve for some of these issues you're dealing with in your job search is listed there as well, okay? Because I do want to help 10 million people on this app get new better paying jobs. Thank you so much for sharing. Good luck, my friends. Go get them.